How to lay your dry cast pavers for driveways and patios. Step 1. For light pedestrian use on well consolidated ground. Excavate the depth of the pavers plus 50 mm for the premier base course layer. For heavy garden equipment, vehicle traffic, hard standing or poor ground, a sub-base of 150 to 200 mm depth is required. The sub-base should be well compacted and consist of premier gap 20 or similar not larger than 25 mm aggregate. Provide a fall of 10 to 15 mm over every 1 meter to allow for water runoff. The falls should be away from the house or walls unless linear surface drainage channels are used. Building regulations require paving to be a minimum height below the floor level. Check your local building regulations for this information. Step 2. Any areas of pavers must be surrounded by a firm edge or restraint to stop the blocks and sand from moving sideways. New and existing walls, curbs, or the pavers themselves laid on a suitable concrete bed can be used to serve this purpose. Any concrete used to fix edge restraints must be allowed time to cure and gain strength before any vibration is commenced. Step 3. After sub-base excavation and fill, if required, Screed out premier base course on top of the sub-base within the restrained area to an approximate depth of 65 mm. Then compact with a plate compactor, obtained from your local hire shop, and spread premier washed sand over at approximately 5 to 10 mm thickness and screed off to give a firmly compacted thickness of 50 mm. One ton of premier base course covers approximately 8 square meters. Step 4. Individual pavers are then simply placed into the sand bed and according to the pattern, laying progress from a corner or long edge and should proceed along one laying face until work is finalized. Pavers from several packs should be well mixed to enhance color blending. Step 5. Cutting of pavers may be required to fill gaps between edge restraints. This may be done using a hammer and bolster chisel if a lot of cutting is necessary, a mechanical block splitter or power cutter can be hired. Step 6. With a stiff broom, thoroughly brush Premier Sweeping Grout over the pavers to fill the joints before compacting. For small areas, use a rubber mallet to compact. For larger areas, use a plate compactor. Carpet may be required when compacting these pavers to help prevent them from cracking. Keep sweeping Premier Sweeping Grout in until all joints are topped up. Sweep in thoroughly to avoid staining during spraying. Then spray a fine mist of water over the area to help set the grout. It is important that you use only a small amount of water. Step 7. To maintain a just laid look, you can seal your pavers using either Premier Seal product of your choice. Talk to your local Premier Pavers distributor about Premier Seal for your pavers. Unsealed paving will weather naturally, making colors appear less intense. Step 8. Step back, relax, and enjoy the finished result.